What's going on guys, it's Clutch Place here, and in this video I'm going to be going over why we should not give up on Frank. If you guys don't know already, on September 11th, Frank broke out in the fourth quarter of the USA vs France FIBA game to the point where he pretty much won France the game. In this game, he scored 11 points and had 3 assists in 25 minutes, but dominated on the defensive side of the ball. In the fourth quarter, he not only scored more points than Kemba Walker, but he scored more points than Kemba and Donovan Mitchell combined. This is much more significant because he was able to stop them on the defensive side of the ball and outplay them on the offensive side as well. Donovan Mitchell was on fire and he had 29 points entering the fourth quarter, but right when Frank gets a chance to prove himself in crunch time, he does. Overall, at the end of the game, Frank had a plus 22 plus minus with a plus 17 plus minus in the final 8 minutes of the game. We all know Frank is a great defender and has a decent shot, but the main positive coming out of this is the amount of confidence he will gain after playing against two top 10 NBA guards and shutting them down. This whole experience playing on the French national team should help him develop around the people who truly believe in him and his abilities. For example, Nicolas Batum, who's kind of a veteran on that team, says that Frank is the future of the French national team. In his next game in the FIBA Championship Series, he had maybe his best game in a loss versus Argentina, where he had 16 points and 2 assists on just under 60% from the field. I was not able to watch this game because I was at school, but people who did said he was the best player on the floor by far. And oh yeah, Rudy Gobert is on that team. So finally when Frank gains a lot of confidence, he has an insane game right after. However, he did come back down to earth versus Australia where he only played 16 minutes and had 2 points on 1 of 7 from the field, but he was still good on the defensive end like always. Frank will not always have the most points or assists, but he impacts the game in ways that are not as flashy but just as important. Last year on the Knicks, he averaged 6 points and 3 assists in 21 minutes, which does not seem that good, but he did have a minus 4.3 plus minus. Okay, yeah, I know it's under 0, but the Knicks overall plus minus was minus 9.2, so in all reality, he was a pretty average player on the Knicks, yet they still chose to develop Moutier over him. By the way, Moutier had a minus 6.1 plus minus, but played 6 more minutes, however the ratio of minutes to plus minus for Moutier is still much worse than Frank. I'm not saying Frank was better than Moutier last season, but Frank at least deserved to play in all the games he was benched in and eat into Moutier's minutes because they were technically a better team with him on the floor. And my next point about Frankie, I'm not trying to give him any excuses for his poor play, rather I'm going to go over some of the hardships Frank has kind of had to go through coming into the NBA. Frank just turned 21 in July and he is still learning about himself, his game, and the the NBA as a whole every single day. If we go back in time a bit, coming into the NBA, Frank was an extremely young 18 year old boy, he was still growing, and he was and is still super shy. And on top of all of this, he was going to play in the biggest league in the world. But not only did he join the NBA, but he was drafted by the biggest most popular basketball city in the world with negative critics everywhere. Adjusting to all of this new change at such a young age is insane, and he is probably still adjusting to it right now. Also, this whole Phil Jackson situation was absurd, and coming into the NBA during this time period is so unlucky, especially for a player like Frank. In his first game in Oklahoma City, on national television, he airballed both of his shots and he was shaking on the court. With some of this nervousness, you would think that he gets scared to shoot and would rather pass it at all costs, which we kinda see now. Playing with France in the FIBA League could be the confidence Frank needs in his game and shot to be able to flourish on the Knicks. If you think I'm so crazy, let me just show you some of the current star players' stats at age 21. Pascal Siakam averaged 4 points and 3 rebounds at age 21. Ruby Gobert averaged 2.3 points and 3.4 rebounds. And Jimmy Butler averaged 2 points and 1 rebound. And all of them should be All-Stars next season. As you guys can see here, a lot of the great players in the NBA today weren't amazing right off the bat and took some time to develop their games. Frank has all the skills to be a great NBA point guard or even shooting guard, but it just depends if the Knicks will help him along the way or give trash cans like Wayne Ellington minutes that should be going to Frank. I know I've been hard on Frank in the past and kind of like set him aside because he's not going to really get too many minutes this season, but us as a community should not give up on Frank because there is still so much upside to his game has yet to be unleashed. Sadly, the Knicks do seem like they want to trade him, which will be upsetting to see, but hopefully this game versus the US was a wake-up call to get him some minutes, and maybe to do so, bench Wayne Ellington. What I think the Knicks should do is make a trade on December 15th that includes Wayne Ellington, Marcus Morris, and or Reggie Bullock, so Frank gets an opportunity to be in the rotation for once. 
but not to give them up for nothing. We need some type of value in return. Now I want you guys to tell me down below if you're with me on the Frank train or if you're against it. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like these, please leave a like. And if you've been keeping up with my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. With that said, I'm out and peace!